Hello everyone, this is Fiona and I'm from D6 Education. It is that time of the year where we have to do the admin year in process. This process will allow you to do the rollover of your learner data and staff data into the next year. I'm going to explain step-by-step -step instructions on how you can do the admin year in. Please remember to use our online manuals which are situated on the top right corner of each button. When we do the admin year in, it is important to finalize the learners per grade for the following academic year and all related admin tasks. This will involve various informal procedures as re-registrations, waitlist admissions, promotions, class grouping and class setup. Informal procedures are temporary process and this will only be confirmed and applied in the system once the formal procedure has been completed. This means that changes can still be made at any of the various informal procedures as long as the formal procedures have not been finalized. It is important to note that once the formal procedure is completed, the changes made are irreversible and in the event that this was done incorrectly, all previous data will need to be recovered at an additional development fee. Also, intensive manual administrative work will have to be done from the school side. There are important notes before you do your admin year in. Marks for Term 4 have to be processed. The promotion schedule has has to be submitted to the Department of Education. All SSAMS exports for Term 4 must be completed and finalized. Permission must be granted by the principal for the year end to be completed and this process can be not be reversed. When we click in the program under My School Learners, you will see a row for Learner Year End. Before you can actually do the waitlist admissions, you first have to enroll your learners onto waiting lists. When you click on My School Learners and you register a learner, and say continue, you have to focus on the admission date part. Make sure you click on the drop down and select the next year and the system will then offer the grade and a waiting list. You can then save um, this profile and the learner will be admitted to the waiting list. After that you click on my school, learners and waitlist admissions. Click on the circle with the arrow inside. The system will default for all learners to be admitted for 2018. If you have learners that will not be admitted, you simply click on the option for decline for 2018. These learners will now be excluded from the rest of your admin year in process. But the system will dynamically mark them as left learners once you do the formal three steps of the admin year end. Please remember that the admin year end works with the previous grade, the current grade and the next grade as promotions are also involved. After you have done the learner admissions, the waitlist admissions, then you click on back at the bottom. We will now have a look at re-registrations. Please keep your eye on the statistics on this page or on each of these admin year end informal button pages. I'm going to go and re-register learners. I can 
can simply click at the bottom of the re-registration for 2018 column. That will re-register all learners. If I have learners that need a transfer card and will thus be leaving your school at the end of this year, please indicate so by clicking on the Leave End of 2017 radio buttons. At this stage, you will be able to preview preliminary transfer cards for these learners that were indicated to leave the end of this year. The transfer card language will depend on the tuition language of the learners. Please note that this is a prelim transfer card. Only when you do the formal three steps of the admin year end, the system will offer you the permanent transfer cards. I will have to continue to re-register the learners to be able to show you the next buttons. While I'm busy with this, please remember that at this stage, you should not yet click on the formal three steps of the admin year end. The best way to do this is at the moment do the four inform the five informal steps first. Then one week or two days before you go on leave and the kids have left the school already, then you can go and actually do only step one for the formal procedure. Then a day or two after the school started for learners, you can actually go and do step two and three. Please remember that you can contact us at the, at the office at any time if you need more help or advice on the admin year end. Remember that I have to do the previous grade, the current grade and the next year grade to be able to continue with this quick training year. Alright, so at the bottom I will go to back and I will have a look at promotions. If your school is already using the curriculum module, then the promotions will be done on the final results button. But if I click this way and I go into the grade, you can see at the moment that you are not able to click on the circle radio buttons on this screen. This means the school's already using the curriculum. If that's the case, then click on My School Curriculum Final Decisions. These decisions are made dynamically by the system according to the DOE promotion requirements. Make sure that all your promotions are finalized and that you have done all the um, adjustments on the marks as needed. If I click back on learners and promotions, you will see that all the learners were already dynamically promoted. We do have some circumstances, for example, not promoted, and these will typically be your retainer learners. You will see that these learners were not promoted for this year.
Then I'm going to click on class grouping. You have to allocate learners for class grouping for the next year. I am going to do the class grouping for grade one. You will see a summary of the tuition language Afrikaans and tuition language English. Also in your drop down, you will be offered Afrikaans or English to do your class groupings. I'm going to say for Afrikaans example, I need five classrooms for next year. I can choose to do it academically, alphabetically, to keep the 27 grouping, uh, to keep the 2017 grouping, or to manually allocate the children to classes. So I'm going to click on academic record for this one, and I'm going to use the method 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. I'm going to take gender into account and display my order alphabetically and click on continue. You will see whitelist learners, current learners and also retained learners on this page. The system automatically did a academic division. At the bottom of the screen you will see summary totals of the division of the specific classes. I will click on continue and once again click on grade one because I have to remember I also have to do a division for one English class. This time I would keep, uh, I choose to do a manual division. I'm simply going to click on the radio buttons. Please remember if you have more than one class to do manual division, you will have to manually click on the radio buttons and allocate each and every child to a specific class. And click on continue. You will see on the statistics on this page that all the grade 1 children were allocated to prelim classes for the next year. Please do this for all your grades. Then click on back. After this was done, you will have to click on my school, staff and at the bottom at the year end, Click on class setup. The, the divisions of the classes of the specific grades that you have done already will be shown on your screen. Please focus on the tuition language to keep track of your temporary classes. I can click on the circle of the radio button and click on edit. I now have to type in a register class reference. Please do not retype the word grade or one again. This will be done dynamically by the system. Simply type in the class reference. For example, this will be grade 1A. Select the classroom number and select the relevant teacher that will be available or that will be linked to this class the next year and save. You will see the amount of learners that are divided into the classes and as you link the classes the information of the teachers will also be available. and continue with the whole, with all the grade one classes.
And then last but not least, your English class. It could be that this could have a total different reference on the register class. Please continue to do the same for all your grades. And then I'll click on the back button. These are the informal steps that have to be done for the admin year in. Once you have done these steps, you can then click on My School Admin Year End and Admin Year End. If any of your data was not completed successfully, the system will indicate that this data must be completed first. You can then continue with the admin year in three steps. Unfortunately, at this stage, I'm not able to show you exactly what those steps will look like unless I just show you a screenshot so that you can identify those. This is what the screen will look like. The system will tell you that those um, informal procedures were done and then you'll be able to click on step one step two or three when you get to this stage and you are a little bit scared to do the admin year in formal steps please contact us at the office and we will guide you through the process step one can be done just before you go on leave for december holidays it is advisable to stop at step one for this year and then after a day or two after the school started then do step two and three. After step one was done, the system will offer you the permanent transfer cards that you can print and issue along with your report cards. <laughs>